Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Combat Craig, and today we're going to walk through the, what is this? The Beck Depression Inventory. Um, yeah, so I uh, decided to go into um, therapy. I did this when I filled out my claim and saw a bunch of the skeletons that are in my closet. And um, I thought I was ready for a relationship. Got into one, um, ignored rule number one. Don't get into a serious relationship with strippers, ex-strippers. They're damaged. I knew that. I don't know. Maybe I thought I could fix her or it just went, went um, bad. And uh, so, so um, since that was a bad experience for me, um, I decided I'd want to learn more about me. And um, after doing a bunch of searching around, I found out there's actually a lot more um, in my childhood, specifically when my dad died when I was nine, that are just me. And I've just kind of been, you know, like there's the childhood stuff, like I was happy and then when my dad died, I was angry, and I've been angry ever since. And then I joined the Air Force, ended up in Desert Storm. That's the fear for your life. That's different than um, what was happening in my childhood. Uh, but I really just haven't looked at the whole thing, and um, there's more to my childhood. Anyway, I'm um, putting myself into therapy again because um, as much as this basement is awesome, if you want to learn more about the VA claims process, check out my boot camp. There's a uh, link in the description to combatcraig.com. And you need to talk to somebody about this stuff if you're filing a claim for mental health and you need them to write down what diagnosis you have or multiple diagnoses you have. And they need to describe the nexus and your symptoms, like all this stuff. And if you need a doctor to do that, check out my med team. They are also available at my website at combatcraig.com. There's a link on there that says Nexus slash med team. Click on that link and um, they'll probably have you fill out this exact same test and they'll tell you if they can help you out with a Nexus or not. I want to do more and I want to um, do more than just kind of stay on my property and be in my castle if I want to have some kind of relationship and just kind of be more... I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to explain. I want to do more than what I'm doing. Just looking at the problems um, isn't enough. I I want to. I need more tools specifically to deal with the anger. But I'm actually ready at 55 years old. So one of the things that I'm doing, I'm actually having an appointment here pretty soon. But I had to fill out this Beck depression inventory thing, and I'll show some of it. I'm just going to kind of read it off. Question one. I do not feel sad. I feel sad. I'm sad all the time and I can't snap out of it. I'm so sad and unhappy that I can't stand it. So I can't snap out of it. That's number three for me. Uh, I mean, yeah, I've been where I can't stand it, but that doesn't get me anywhere. But I get, yeah, I, I just can't snap out of it. Question two, I'm not particularly discouraged about the future. I feel discouraged about the future. I feel like I have nothing to look forward to. I feel the future is hopeless and things cannot improve. This one's tough. I've definitely, you know, lean towards feeling hopeless and things can't improve. But this channel improves. Um, I'm helping people. It's therapeutic. So, as I'm discouraged about the future, I have hope in myself because I'm able to communicate my feelings with you guys and relate. So, I'm not completely hopeless uh, in that category. Um, previous to this channel, it would be, I feel the future is hopeless and things cannot improve for sure. Uh, question three, I do not feel like a failure. I feel... I have failed more than the average person. Yes. As I look back on my life, all I see is a lot of failures. Yes. I feel I'm a complete failure as a person. Yeah, I'd say I'm still there, kind of getting out of that because there's, I'm not alone. 
you guys are there. Uh, but yeah, I pretty much am a complete failure. So on to the next questions. And the reason I'm doing this is um, w every time I take these tests, it's always um, the last worst thing. That's just the way I've been. And um, I think I've been like this um, since I was a child. I, th I thought it was more after um, I got kicked out of the Air Force, but I think it goes farther than that. And that's what I'm uh, looking to do. I get as much satisfaction out of things as I used to. I don't enjoy things the way I used to. I don't get real satisfaction out of anything anymore. I'm dissatisfied, I'm dissatisfied or bored with everything. I'd say I'm dissatisfied or bored with everything, and uh, that happened with this YouTube channel. I'm, I'm snapping myself out of it, but that's kind of, I think it's like burned out. I don't know what happened, but... Um, I got dissatisfied with the YouTube channel, for sure. That's pretty much the thing that I look forward to. So, I don't know, kind of hard to explain, but I, I don't want to be like that anymore, and I'm going to power myself through it. I don't feel particularly guilty. I feel guilty a good part of the time. I feel quite guilty most of the time. I feel guilty all the time. Yeah, I feel guilty about everything. Failure, 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 disappointment. That's that's easy. I feel guilty all the time. I don't feel I am being punished. I feel I may be punished. I expect to be punished. I feel I am being punished. I punished myself so bad from probably Feb like beginning of February into May, just to make sure I punished myself. So I'm uh, box number, whatever, five on that. I don't feel disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed. I'm disgusted with myself. I hate myself. Yeah, I'd say I hate myself. Good, fair. Yeah. I don't feel I am worse than anybody else. I am critical of myself for my weaknesses or mistakes. I blame myself all the time for my faults, definitely. I blame myself for everything bad that happens. Yeah, because I did it or I was involved in it. I blame myself. Um, and this one seems pretty easy to me because I like to blame other people for everything. So I think that's like me. Yeah, I accept it. I blame myself because I was involved in the thing. Now, here's one that can get this is the intent or plan. And these are the kinds of questions you need to be careful how you answer them. I mean, answer them honestly, but um, intent or plan, if I'm going to do something, I'm just going to do it. I'm not suicidal. I don't have an intent or plan, but the last thing that I'm going to do to anybody, the I mean, we learned this in the military, right, is project what you're going to do. You do what you're going to do. So be careful on this one and how you answer it because it can get you into a lot of trouble. I don't have any thoughts of killing myself. No. I don't cry any more than usual. I cry more now than I used to. Yes, I've been crying a lot. I cry all the time now. Yeah, that too. I used to be able to cry, but now I can't cry. So um, even though I want to, I cry all the time now. I've been crying for a year, losing my dog, losing my chick, dealing with my dad. But crying's good. I haven't cried enough. I guess that's my rationale. Um, I am I am no more irritated by things than I ever was. I am slightly more irritated now than usual. I am quite annoyed or irritated a good deal of the time. I feel irritated all the time. Absolutely. Everything irritates the shit out of me 100% of the time. I have not lost interest in other people. I am less interested in other people than I used to be. I've lost most of my interest in other people. I've lost... All of my interest in other people. That would be the most applicable. I just don't like people. And, and I tried to um, get involved with one. And it just kind of showed me basement is better. And I need some help if I'm going to try this whole people thing again. And again, I'm talking to a camera. And I know that you're listening to me. And you're a people. Or you are people. Uh, 
But talking to a camera and actually being in front of people are two different things in my mind. I make decisions about as well as I ever could. I put off making decisions more than I used to. I have greater difficulty in making decisions more than I used to. Uh, my decision-making process is just gut. And usually my gut's telling me not even take a breath. I either make it and it's the wrong decision most of the time. And, and that's just kind of like just stay away from people, stay in your basement, go out and deal with the lawn and yell at it and try to make it grow. Just kind of stay in my castle and on my property and that, and that's working for me. Not really, but it's kind of working for me. Again, um, a lot of these things, I, I want to change these things. I, I have no clue where to start because everything's just like horrible, worse. I know I'm not normal, and that's fine. Admitting that you have a problem is the first step. I did that about five years ago. Now I want to figure out how to change everything, I guess. So we'll see. I'm going to do that with a shrink. I don't feel that I look any worse than I used to. I am worried that I am looking old or unattractive. I feel there are permanent changes in my appearance that make me look unattractive. I believe I look ugly. Um, yeah, I, I look younger than I am. I've always kind of known that. Um, I've had periods. Yeah, I mean, I'm older, but yeah, I don't have any problems with my appearance and I don't really give a shit what, you know, like if somebody doesn't like the way I look, go look elsewhere. I can work about as well as before. This is the work one. It takes extra effort. I have to push myself very hard to do anything. I can't do any work at all. I have to push myself very hard to get on camera. This isn't a natural thing for me, even though I'm not in front of people. Yeah, this process that happens um, to get me psyched up is few people have seen it. People that have been on video with me have seen um, me freaking out and stuff. Uh, yeah, I have to push myself hard to do basically anything. Um I can, this one's about sleep. Yeah, I don't sleep. What's that? I have insomnia. I have depression. I have somatic symptom disorder. I have combat PT. Like, I, I don't sleep. And I don't have a schedule. I'll take the sleep, you know, whenever I can get it. Tired? Yeah, I have chronic fatigue syndrome. I fight that constantly. I fight the pain. I fight everything. I am too tired to do anything, but I fight through it. And in that... Um, I recently found out that I have a torn meniscus I've probably been walking around on for who knows how long from skateboarding. So I'm hurting myself, pushing myself, and now I'm just going to kind of chill, get that fixed. Can't wait to go get cut open again because because it's um, go see a, uh, yeah, we, you got a torn meniscus and you need to see the orthopedic doctor, right? That means your ass is getting cut open. And um, hopefully this won't be like my neck. I'm optimistic about it. At least it's not part of my neck and back problem. So my knee will get better. So I have a positive uh, outlook on that. Appetite. Yeah, my appetite's all over the borders, board. Sometimes I eat too much. I don't really have an appetite right now. And that's probably a good thing because I've lost weight. And I don't know. Being less of a fat ass is is better than being 250 pounds. I haven't lost much weight. I've lost more than, yeah, I've lost more than 15 pounds in the last year. Um, I'm no worried. This one's about health. Yeah, I'm worried. I have so many physical problems and mental problems. I can't think of anything else. They determine what I'm going to do every day. Um, fortunately, I can sit here and talk about them. And I know that me talking about health, physical pain, being a piece of shit, worthless, whatever is stuff you guys struggle with. So I, you know, I, I can talk about it. Uh, last 21 is I'm not interested in recent change in my interest in sex. I'm less interested. Yeah. The sex one, um, really worked me with this chick stripper right so when the sex was fun 
but the uh, abuse uh, that that came out of that and the negative activity on both of our sides, it's not her fault. She's damaged. I'm damaged. And she actually lives close to me. We're not talking. And I'm totally okay with that. I'm getting to indifferent as far as she's concerned. And it's actually, it's taken a while, but I'm getting there. As far as sex, I just get a tone, just whatever, go back to the weird porn and do a lot less of it. So my interest in sex is definitely uh, less interested than I was, say, a year ago when I was in love. So this says, your assessment indicates you may suffer from extreme depression. Contact a healthcare provider immediately. Every time I filled out one of these tests, um, probably, I don't know, in the last five years, it's always like this. It's the worst. So be honest about these tests. These are the way you are currently um, when we're talking VA claims, proving depression, anxiety, mental health issues. You're going to run into these kinds of tests, and you may um, have run into these kinds of tests before, got embarrassed, and didn't answer them accurately, and they could be um, working against you if you're trying to get a mental health rating. So answer them the way um, you are. There's not a whole lot of intent or plan um, questions on there, but be careful how you do it. Like I said, I'm not going to project anything I'm going to do. And I learned that in the military for sure. and probably learned it as a kid. Um, so I don't need an intent or a plan to do anything. I'm going to do what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do it kind of thing. But be careful in that one. Um, so that's that's my uh, current take as we sit here in June 2024 about the Beck Depression Inventory Test. And um, there's no more cowbell ringing. It's just this is the way I am. And uh, if you want to learn more about the VA claims process, check out my boot camp. There's a uh, link in the description to combatcraig.com. And you need to talk to somebody about this stuff if you're filing a claim for mental health and you need them to write down what diagnosis you have or multiple diagnoses you have. And they need to describe the nexus and your symptoms, like all this stuff. And if you need a doctor to do that, check out my med team. They are also available at my website at combatcraig.com. There's a link on there that says nexus slash med team. Click on that link and um, they'll probably have you fill out this exact same test and they'll tell you if they can help you out with a nexus or not.